hello there friends I hope that you're doing well so uh, how to set up your uh, Asus Tooth Gaming M3 mouse in the video I'm going to show exactly what can you set regarding this mouse so all the settings uh, can be done from the program called Armory Crate which is the official Asus uh, program after you install the, the program you connect the mouse uh, after you launch the, the program it might ask uh, to make some updates so be sure to, to make those uh, updates you can uh, create an account login or you can avoid all of that it will uh, still work so after you have updated you click on uh, device and you will see here uh, the mouse tooth gaming m3 you click on it and here we have all the the settings for this mouse what's uh, interesting is that you can uh, reassign the, all the buttons for example the the top buttons which are by default for dpi i've changed them uh, for example the first one it's uh, now a scroll click this one and uh, instead of uh, back I've reassigned to the delete key and the forward button it's now a control S which in most programs will just do a save so instead of going to file save I just click on uh, this button performance these are default uh, settings um, I've played Assassin's Creed Odyssey and I haven't uh, felt that I need to change the DPI so we see that by default we have uh, 1600 DPI 1000 Hertz pulling rate and uh, button response it's set to 12 and the DPI to as I said 1600 so these are the default settings and they work just fine by default from lightning um, this mouse has just one uh, light on the on the logo in my case I turned it off but if you turn it on you can pick some uh, some effects we have static breathing color cycle reactive and aura sync uh, what uh, what I liked was uh, breathing, but uh, since in my case I don't really like uh, RGB, I just switch it off. If you want uh, to have the lights, just go and click it on off on. From firmware update, uh, we see that we have the current version uh, in February 2023. It's 1.00.09 and uh, I've uh, updated uh, this firmware like uh, two days ago so it's up to date other than that uh, this is pretty much it I've noticed that we can also create uh, macros for example you can register some actions and then you can assign the <coughs> uh, mouse button to, to run that macro as you can see macro currently there is none that's why it's uh, great uh, just to show you how to reassign a button for example this one from uh, DPI switch down let's say that uh, we want to set it to escape for example keyboard function we click here and we press escape and you can see that now the, the button will just do an escape instead of DPI switch down so uh, these are uh, the settings for this mouse we can also make the the macros from here we click, we click on record then press for example three times delete save and after we assign that uh, macro macro to a button and we we press the we click it will do three deletes so that's how the the macro works as i said you don't need an account the this program will run in the background and even without uh, account it will uh, keep these settings that uh, you set up all right so this was uh, the video this
this is how you can set up your Asus Tooth Gaming M3. I hope that you found the video useful. If you did, please subscribe and thank you for watching.